Hi guys, welcome to our channel Share Experience. Today we are going to see what are subsidiary books. If a business is small with less number of transactions, those transactions can be recorded as journal entries and posted into ledger. This can be easily managed. When the business is big with lot of transactions, it is difficult to record all the transactions as journal entries and post them into ledger which is time consuming so this method is introduced for big businesses to save time thus the subsidiary books are distributed to various sections of the business as and when the transaction takes place they are recorded in the subsidiary books simultaneously without delay now we will see the types of subsidiary books subsidiary books are classified into eight types those are purchase book sales book purchase returns book sales returns book cash book bills receivable book bills payable book and journal proper purchase book records all credit purchases and it doesn't record purchase of goods for cash and purchase of asset for cash or credit sales book records all credit sales and it doesn't record goods sold for cash and sale of assets for cash or credit purchase returns book records only the goods returned to supplier sales returns book records only the goods returned by customers Cash book records all cash transactions like cash receipts, cash payments and also bank checks. Bills receivable book records all bills receivables and bills payable book records all bills payables. Journal proper. In this book, the transactions which cannot be recorded in other books, only those transactions can be recorded in journal proper if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching this video